Okay, this one is for you, you content creators, writers, video producers, audio producers, photographers, whatever you're doing. I'm going to show you in this video seven real benefits that I've got out of Steemit and tools that can be very helpful to you as you work with it. So get your pen and paper or note-taking device of choice ready to go as we talk about these seven tools and benefits for you in Steemit. Well, hello there, this is Terry Brock and welcoming you to a session where we're going to talk about Steemit. We're going to talk about a platform that really is incredible. If you haven't seen Steemit before and you're a content creator, you are going to smile when you see this because it gives you the ability to, here's a concept, get paid for when you create content. Think about that. With most social media platforms, you don't get paid. Oh, you might get a like or you know a thumbs up or somebody will retweet or post your material. And that's good, nothing wrong with that. But how about if you get some actual cash? Yeah, you get actual money. That's a kind of nice thing. And the nice thing about it also, you don't have to pay to get in. You don't have to pay a monthly fee. You don't have to uh, get an affiliate or any of that. It's just there. So what I want to do is to show you some tools that I've found, just kind of share just between you and me, some really good ways for you to connect with your community, to build your business, to reach out to people that you want to know. You might be in a charitable organization and you want to reach out to donors. You want to reach to those who are going to receive what you're doing. Well, here's a way that can help you to do that better. Steemit is really good tools. As a matter of fact, while we do this, I'm just going to bounce over here. We got through the wonders of our technology that we can use today. I'm going to bounce over here where I'll be on the screen up here in the upper right. I can come over to the left if I wanted, but I'll hang around up here in the upper right corner for right now. And you'll see I'm right here in uh, Steemit, so we can move around here. I'm moving around, you can see this is what it looks like. Of course, this is right now at this moment. You'll see a lot of different messages that are there. And when you look at the form, the uh, uh, the platform itself, it's up here, it's Steemit, and by the way, that's S-T-E-E-M-I-T, Steemit, and it's really nice, and it's a way for you, first of all, one of the real benefits that I've seen, and what I want to do is get here on this, give you seven benefits, seven benefits that I'm seeing from Steemit, and there's a whole lot more, but these are seven, kind of get you started, and I'm hoping that of all these I show you, some of them you might go, yeah, I think I've heard of that. And others, you might go, whoo, didn't know about that. Better write that one down. So that's where we're going to go from here on this. But first of all, when you look at what's available, I find it's a rich learning experience. Because look at what's available. I'm just picking these at random. These are just what happens to be right here. Uh, you can see the homecoming surprise, welcome home soldier, a story there that would be good. You just click on that and find out. Here's another one. Buenos dias, Steemit. Cuantas calorias de comes en el Desano. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but I'm working on my Spanish. But I think it's something about good morning, steam it. Uh, how many calories are you eating in your breakfast? I think. I'm not sure. Those of you who speak Spanish, let me know if I got that right. But uh, I'm working on it right now. And uh, this is a really good matter of fact, that's uh, Anna Halarski. Hello, Anna. Hope you're doing well today. And uh, that is a, a great little post. And the thing about steam it is you can learn different languages. You'll find many different languages out here. I love the learning that takes place. A variety of opinions from many different political and philosophical points of view, and you can learn a great deal. Here's another thing when you're doing it. Notice these tags and topics over here. There's a lot of these over here, and when you're writing and creating your content, if you can orient it toward yeah, some of these here, you'll get a little bit more attention because then it will come up under that, like for instance, photography. A lot of people watching photography, when you look at that, see I'm clicking on photography right now, and it brings up many that are related to that, that have at least tagged that their post is related to photography. A lot of people there, and doing very well. Matter of fact, take a look here. I mean, this is there are no secrets here in Steemit. This person right here, uh, who is Sweet SSSJ, and hello there, hope you're doing well today. Wonderful lady who does a lot of great posts. She's made, so far, after eight hours, $394.58. Here's another one from Tim Said. Tim, how you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Uh, $378.29. Here's another one from Critchy, or however, Christy or Critchy, something like that. It uh, is now made $183.22. So you'll see these various uh, topics here. You can click on them this way, and you want to find a way for you 
to um, become more educated with it. What you can do is as you move around, you're able to get a lot more done here. You're able to see what's available, and you also get a feel for it. When you're first getting started with Steemit, matter of fact, one of the things I would recommend would be that you spend most of your time browsing looking around, just seeing what's there before you jump out there and start producing, you might not be in line with the protocols. What you want to do is get a chance to see what others are doing, how they're doing it, and what's happening with it. That'll be a real good way for you to get to know. So that's one thing. Now another one that is really exciting I want to tell you about is what's happening with DTube. You might think, what is DTube? Well, here it is. DTube is a way that you can look at what's going on on the screen. You can take this and you can uh, see what's available, what's happening with different trending videos, with new videos. You can watch them again, etc. And this is what's happening out there in the world. I'm going to click here on the DTube logo. You'll see up there in the upper left corner. I uh, click on that and it should uh, redraw it. Uh, and it gives you the ability to see a lot of different videos that people put out there. Now, this is in competition with YouTube. YouTube, great service. I love it. I've got almost 1,100 videos over there. Love working with the thousands of people that have been watching my videos, and uh, that's nice. But DTube has no censorship. YouTube has a right to censor on their own platform. Sure, I get it, but they've also demonetized some people. And we know that now with uh, DTube, you're going to be able to put out there pretty much whatever you want. And we can see some uh, videos that are here. Matter of fact, you'll notice there are three here by uh, Jerry Banfield. Jerry's a good buddy of mine. Jerry, I hope you're doing well if you're watching this. And you see he's got several in there. Oh, here's one that Terry Brock put out there, Intro to DTube. So it's another good introduction uh, that's on there. And it shows the kind of uh, information you can get. Real, real handy. And these are some of the trending videos that are out there right now as I'm recording this. This is a great place also for learning. This is a great place for you to find out more what's going on and uh, look into it. So I would recommend look into DTube. Find out what's available with it and get to know that. It's really good. There are some issues with DTube that people are working on. Matter of fact, I brought this up. I want to share this with you here. Let me uh, come over here and share this with you. I want to share my screen. And uh, you can see here's a graphic. Let me move me a little bit out of the way here as uh, we do this with the wonders of technology. I'll move me over here and then uh, bounce over here on this so you can see this is a, a, a screenshot I got just a couple hours ago, actually. And you'll see uh, Hyman Danger. Hyman Danger, that's his uh, cue, the man that wrote DTube. He is the programmer that we are really grateful for, for what he did. He said, my t uh, DTube video isn't working. This was from uh, Crypto G. And he says, it appears to be working now. Sometimes it's like that. You look from 638 to 647, it comes back. And uh, him and Danger responded in his really helpful style. Yep, new videos are slow as hell. No easy solution to that. We rely on IPFS. That's the services providing it. We need more people using IPFS. And uh, I was in some chats with him also. And he said, OK, that's something that is out there. And they're working on it to try to get that moving and going in the right direction. So uh, this is something that is uh, being worked on. You're going to see a few little technical glitches. It's a new program, but it's being worked on and diligently uh, addressed. This is a great way for you to create some money. You create this by producing your video, put it up here on uh, DTube, and then when you do that, you're going to be able to get a lot of attention as people look at what you're doing, and you can use the wonders of video for it. Like I'm using video right now, being able to share my screen with you. I'm using a little tool here called Ecamm uh, for Ecamm Live, which is for Facebook Live. And I'm sending this over to a Facebook group that I have so that I'll have that there. And then I'll get the uh, MP4 of it, do the editing, and it works nicely. But video is really hot. It's something that you want to look at. As we see what's happening here with U DTube, it gives you a lot of capabilities and a lot of possibilities with it. Now, another feature we want to look at here within the Steam is a service I've heard about. I want to share with you here. It really sounds exciting. It's called Steamian. You'll see that right there about Steamian. And this is one that I had heard of before. As a matter of fact, uh, Jerry Banfield told me about this and some others when we were having a meetup here in Florida. And he told us about it. I love this. The idea of being able to post your content before you put it on. Like you might want to have four or five posts. You wouldn't want to put all of them out at the same time. Not a good idea, but to space them out, you might choose to do, say, one every day for the next five days. Well, if you want to do that, that's perfectly fine. 
you can do it. Steamian is supposed to give you the capability to do that. Jerry told me that it does, and so I went in to try and do it, but the, the challenge is when I uh, click on it, here's what's happened. I go in there and I, I set it up and I tried everything, but I still can't get it here. I've e verified the email, verified the account, and after a week or so, and sending a few messages, I still have not gotten an answer how to unlock the Steam account. I tried to go through and do it uh, this way, and it just keeps saying all the time uh, that it's waiting. I think it's a great tool. It is working for others. I haven't figured it out, but maybe you can figure it out. Go over here to Streamian. That's S T R E E M I A N. Streamian at streamian.com. And it's a great little tool. I'm hoping, I got my fingers crossed on this, that it will work. And so if you can get that working, please drop me a note. Let me know. You can reach me, uh, terrybrock.com. Did you notice, by the way, the very subtle, or maybe not so subtle, uh, logo that I have down here in the lower right corner? So that is available there that you can uh, uh, get in touch with me uh, there, or you can send me my uh, note here on Steemit. And I'll show you in a moment how to do that. Uh, at Terry Brock. That's all lowercase and all with no spaces, at Terry Brock. So that's a real good one. Now here's another one. You want to write this one down. Steam it help. If you go to steamithelp.net, that's the, the code here. I'm in the upper left corner. You'll see we've got the Steam it help. Hold on, I need to share my screen with you, don't I? Yep, so Steam it help. You want to share this. So, they can, uh, so you can go there and you can get help. And look at what they've done on this. This is absolutely marvelous. They've got a whole bunch of capabilities here. You can go in and you can see Steam it help. It's a place where you can get support and get a little help sometimes. We all need a little help sometimes. And they've provided this in a wonderful, wonderful way. And so when you go over to it, let me uh, clear this out here so I can go back to it originally. And uh, there to steamithelp.net. What it does is it gives you help in some key areas. Look at this right here. They've got sign up information, basics part one. Hey, there's a good place to go if you're just getting started and you want to find out what's going on. And here's basics part two. Going through that lets you know, okay, here's how we do it. Here's what happens. Here's how you make this thing work and what you can do with it. I really like the way they've done that and putting it together and uh, the kind of uh, capabilities. I'll move over here to the other side here so you can see that a little bit better, but we can move down here. Navigation, posting and curation, verification, Curation guilds. This is something you want to look into. It's people that will get together and agree to help support some really good content that might not be as well known. When you first get started, it can be a little bit depressing. And some people will get into Steemit, they'll do something and they only get uh, a few pennies or they get nothing and they give up. Well, the curation guilds are set up to try to help that. You've got to produce good quality. That means it's something that people really want. It's got to be more than just some pictures. And work on your uh, English skills. This is in English. Or if you're doing it in another language, work on the skills in that language, whatever it happens to be. Use it there. Has produced. You see, for instance, here it shows you what's going on when you're produced. I'm jumped in here right here. How much steam is produced? What is a witness? These are some of the basic terms of what's going on with steam. And this helps to answer a lot of the basic questions when you go, hey, I'm new here. I don't know what it's doing or you know how this thing works or what's going to happen with it you can work with it. So I would recommend going over to Steemit Help, and this is really, really good. Here it is again, steemithelp.net, N-E-T. So uh, hang in there uh, on that one. That'll be real good. Another uh, service you want to look into, this is really good. This one is where you get a chance to find out what's going on right now for you. For instance, this is showing me here. I'm being real uh, candid and open on this, showing you what I've got at this very moment where we stand. I know that if I uh, upvote someone with 100%, I'm going to give 0.57 cents. Now, it used to be a lot more than that, but I put a lot of it over other places. If I give a, roll it down here, say a 37% upvote, it'll be worth 21 cents. And this lets me see exactly what someone will get. If I give a 3% or even a 1% upvote, they're going to get uh, one cent. See, just like that. And if I give 100% again, it's 57. And I can see who has upvoted me. That's good to know. So you can find out who has been out there helping you out. That's a good website, and it's called steamnow.com. Steamnow.com. Another one that I found real handy is Steam Friend. Now, you might think, what's with Steam Friend? Well, you come down here, and you click in here, and you put in, uh, for instance, I'm going to put in at Terry Brock. That's me. 
And when I do that, it'll check the friends that I have and people who are out there and uh, tagging me and saying things like that. Whoops, it doesn't say, no, I know why. You know what I did wrong here. Here we go. I just want to put in Terry Brock. Notice, don't put the at sign in there. Don't know why I do that. But it'll go back and it'll find people that are helping you. And this is something you want to know. Here we go. See, I can see that Dennis H. Lewis has a friend score of 11. That means he's tops, you know, right there. And then Nico Leondas, really nice person. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And uh, Tribe Stem, Steam Up, etc. I'm seeing this is happening a lot here. Biz Communication. And I uh, really appreciate all those upvotes and all that information there. This is one you'll want to find out about. Steam excuse me, steamfriend.com gives you that ability to do some really, really nice features. And then let's come back here to uh, the uh, trending on here. And I want to show you a feature that is particularly important. This is one that uh, I find very, very helpful. When you got questions, you need help, you'll see these lines over here in the upper right corner. Click on that and it gives you a menu of several options. You might have seen those. Most important one, I think, right here, Steam it chat. I'm going to click on that. And when we go into Steam It Chat, it brings up a wealth of information and help where you can talk to other folks, you can let them see what's going on. I've got some people that I've communicated with here, etc. And particularly like here, DTube. Well, I'm going to click here on DTube and you'll see some information that I put in there, some uh, uh, information there. We're getting back and uh, connecting back and forth with others. Often you'll see this here for us. It looks like Sam Stone Hill. Just uh, put one in here. Any ideas why this wouldn't work when all the others did using the same codec, et cetera, et cetera. And he puts that in there so that others can see it and then figure out, okay, what's going on? Why isn't that working? And here's an answer. I think it works, but it was really slow to load. I had the same problem. Uh, from Xeon, X-E-O-N-N, -N, and then Sam Stonehill came back, I see, thanks. Great way to get help. Plus, here's another one you want to look into. Right over here, notice this, it's help. Help is, well, just what you think it would be. A place where you can say, hey, how do we do this? Does anyone know about that? Good place for you to go to find out how to do that. And then here's another one, post promotion. When you send a post out there, as we all do, you want people to come over and to visit your uh, post, to read it, to upvote you if they would, uh, re-steam it, etc. So lots of people are here. Now obey the protocols here. You'll notice that it says here, I'll move my little mouth, my uh, uh, um, pictures around here. Respect your fellow Steamians and only promote your post no more than once every two hours. That makes sense. If everybody's in there jumping up and down saying, watch my stuff, watch my stuff, please upvote me it gets to be uh, rather uh, annoying and all that. So you want to make sure that you've got those kind of protocols and those kind of uh, things happening there for you. So I am looking forward to hearing from you. If you've got some questions, please leave them in the comments that you have here. I'll do what I can. Of course, bounce over to Steam Chat. That would be really good in the help section. So that way you can get help and others would benefit from it as well. No one person knows everything about Steamit. So it's good to have a group of people that can say, oh, this is the answer, or someone might know an answer, but someone else might have some other angles on that to help you out on it. So there's a lot going on with uh, Steemit, and I am looking to hear from you. If you found this helpful, yes, it would be great for you to upvote this. You uh, d click on that upvote, those 100% upvotes, I really, really like. And uh, re-steaming it, also good. Let me know what you think, and I'll look forward to hearing from you. So uh, as we uh, depart here from this, this is Terry Brock, and I really appreciate you stopping by. Let me know what you think, and I'll look forward to hearing from you.